because yes, Ukrainian white Christian refugees, again, highlights your issue with not allowing not so white, not so Christian refugees coming in from your southern border. And that is, I don't know what word to use, but let's just say ethnocentric, no, no, ethno uh, um, think How do you account yeah. for that difference? It's an extremely important issue what you have raised because I have been faced with this question many times. So thank you for I've raising actually asked you yeah, yeah, thank you very much for raising it. So we are under double pressure currently, we can say this, because we have these hundreds of thousands of refugees arriving from Ukraine, whom we definitely allow to come and take good care of them. But we keep our southern border very strong, uh, which is our border to Serbia, external border of both European Union and the Schengen area. We have stopped 110,000 illegal migrants already this year. And this is the major difference. This is, you have refugees and you have illegal migrants. And why I tell you these are illegal migrants? Because you have to look at the international law. What does international law say? If you have to flee from war, like the poor Ukrainians currently, you are allowed to uh, move to the first safe country. And there you can stay temporarily and then return whenever the war or, or whatever was the reason of you uh, fleeing is over. Now, these people who appear at the southern border of ours cross at least six, seven, eight or even more safe countries. They have no reason. They have no reason to violate the border between Serbia and Hungary. They have no reason to violate the southern border of Serbia because they are not coming from war, because there's no war in Serbia. And I have to tell you one thing. These people, these illegal migrants are behaving more and more aggressively. They are carrying weapons. They are shooting at us, shooting at each other. They, they attack our um, policemen, throwing uh, uh, pieces of concrete, bottle, whatever, attacking our police. Why should we allow such kind of people to enter the territory of Hungary? The Ukrainians are not violating our border. They come, they ask for the opportunity, they, uh, they come in, they cooperate with us because they have the right to do so because there's a war in the neighborhood. It just all fits the picture of what you call an illiberal democracy. So Why? let's just, well, it just does. I mean, it just no, does. It's international and, and law. It's international fine, law. Fine, but we've had these discussions many times before when they were actually fleeing war and, and we saw that they were... Yeah, but they're they not coming anyway, from the neighborhood. Fine, let's just carry on.